Okay, um, just looking at the third field, basically trying to find out uh, what we can from this Tesla uh, input. Basically, we have um, input battery at 18 volts uh, times uh, 4 amps. Hmm. Sorry, just, uh, just having a, a little bit of a strange effect on the battery. Battery seems to be uh, charging in the field. <laughs> Started at 18. Battery seems to be charging because it's close to the field. That's interesting. Anyway, looking at the third field. Um, straight from the uh, top load I'm trying to find out how many uh, watts we can pull out these are all uh, strip lights 36 watts um, yeah they're all not uh, fully working uh, they're all old uh, broken from the scrapyard but it's uh, more trying to find out if we have uh, I started out with uh, 17.83 volts from the battery times 4 amps should give 71 watts out the output here we have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 and I also have one up here get into position seven eight we're not really pulling anything and we've got quite a lot of lighting basically uh, one end is coming from the top load down into one end of these strip lights and uh, the other end is going to uh, an earth or if they're not earth, they're just laying around um, directly onto the floor. So it's just interesting that uh, that we have uh, a small input, we have larger output. Um, again, we're only igniting the gas. We're not directly uh, doing anything else to these strips, strip lights, but. Um, it was more on uh, to find out what it is because basically I'm having difficulty getting information, uh, putting the probes on um, to find out yeah, what the output is. Um, as you can see, the battery are now up to 19. So it's being charged actually. The Li Ion battery is being charged inside uh, this field. Or oh, of course the uh, multimeters uh, not functioning because of uh, because it's in the field. But uh, definitely have an effect on the battery. Maybe not the best effect. But uh, yeah. So. It's interesting to see how much lighting we can get from these. I don't know if anybody else has done it. And how much lighting they've had. From small input. But. Um. It's just an interesting observation I had, and also from the uh, third field here, or the uh, L3 coil, should I say. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. We still have, still have all the, uh, the lighting. 
and this is a normal uh, incandescent light so yeah interesting uh, to see how this battery reacts Basically, we're getting nothing. Yeah, it's actually very strange. But I have seen these uh, batteries, uh, maybe not this kind of lead acid battery, uh, start charging in the field. But um, that's where I'm at at the minute. Um, nothing on the, nothing on the uh, UFO as yet. Uh, or should it, should we call it uh, a static ion lifting maglev device? I don't know. Lots of different names. But um, that'll come at a later point. I first got to find out if uh, if we can at some point take uh, some of this energy back into uh, this battery and uh, recharge itself. Would be interesting if uh, if I could get some good readings here. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Wait, I'm not I'm not happy at this. Just a second. Let me try. having some problems with this okay for another video um but yeah minimal input quite a large output i'd like to find out how many of these we could uh, put on um for such a small input interesting okay uh, might be boring but uh, that's what i wanted to show right now uh, you don't have to comment uh, just uh, using this platform to uh, air my um, views and uh, opinion. Thanks.